Chances of getting herpes from receiving oral Because it commonly produces sores around the lips, nose, cheeks, and chin, HSV1 is known as oral herpes. HSV2 is commonly referred to as genital herpes since it creates lesions on the genitals. HSV2, on the other hand, can cause oral herpes while HSV1 can cause genital herpes. The position of the sores is determined by the place where the virus is transmitted, not by the herpes strain. When the virus comes into touch with damaged skin or mucous membrane tissues, it can spread from one person to another. Because you have mucous membrane tissues in both your mouth and your genitals, you can develop herpes in both places. The sort of herpes you receive is determined by where you catch it. You can only distribute herpes through the afflicted place if you have it. If you have oral herpes, it will spread if you come into touch with another person's mouth. Contact with the genitals is how genital herpes is transferred. During an active epidemic, herpes is the easiest to spread. However, most people with herpes have days during the year when the virus reactivates but they don't have any symptoms. Asymptomatic reactivation, also known as asymptomatic shedding, is the result of viral shedding. You can spread herpes even if you don't have any active sores when viral shedding occurs. Herpes can be transmitted in a variety of ways. If you have oral herpes, you should. When the herpes virus is active, you might give your partner genital herpes by having oral sex with them. When the virus is active, you can pass oral herpes to your partner through mouth-to-mouth -mouth contact. You can't pass herpes to your spouse through genital-to-genital -genital touch. By conducting oral sex on you, your partner cannot contract your oral herpes. If you have genital herpes, you should. If you have oral sex with your partner when the virus is active, you can transmit them oral herpes. When the virus is active, you can pass genital herpes to your partner through genital-to-genital -genital contact. By conducting oral sex on your spouse, you will not infect them with herpes. You can't pass herpes to your spouse through mouth-to-mouth -mouth contact. Symptoms of Herpes Herpes symptoms are most noticeable when the virus is initially contracted, however some people experience just minor symptoms or none at all. The first epidemic is frequently the most severe. On the infected region, little fluid-filled blisters form, and some patients may have flu-like symptoms. In following outbreaks, the symptoms are frequently milder. In the long run, outbreaks become less common. HSV2 is more likely than HSV1 to trigger future outbreaks. How to check if you have herpes? If you have an active outbreak, your local healthcare professional can test you for herpes by taking a swab from the sore. If you don't have a current outbreak, a blood test for herpes antibodies can be done by your doctor. Because these antibodies are only present after the initial breakout, a blood test may miss herpes if it was contracted recently. Doctors don't test for herpes alongside other STI on a regular basis, so don't assume you've been tested if you've had a regular STI screening. If you wish to check for herpes, you should discuss this STI with your healthcare practitioner so that you may receive the tests you need. Recent Investigations the risk of developing genital herpes during oral sex was investigated in a clinical trial conducted by the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. Over the course of a year, the researchers tracked 1,207 non-pregnant women between the ages of 18 and 30. At four-month intervals, the women were tested for HSV-1 and HSV-2. HSV-1 was found in 38% of women aged 20 and under when the trial began. HSV-1 infection risk was 1.2 for sexually inactive women, 6.8 for women who had vaginal sex, 
and 9.8 for women who had receptive oral sex without vaginal sex during the course of the research. This shows that responsive oral sex poses a higher risk of HSV-1 transmission than vaginal sex. This and other comparable research have found a link between an increase in oral sexual activity and an increase in herpes transmission rates. When you have skin-to-skin -skin contact, you run the danger of catching STI like herpes, just as with any other sort of intercourse. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe to my channel for my upcoming herpes treatment videos.